All right, guys, welcome back to El Regio La China. Check out this fade. Something they do got going on right is my fade up in here. <laughs> uh, pues ahora vamos a hablar, vamos a juntarnos, vamos a hablar de del blog que hice la, hace unos pocos días y la gente quiere saber más. All right, so people want to know more about what is the difference of retiring in the Philippines and the U.S. All right. And we could throw a little bit of Mexico in there too because it's kind of it's kind of the same but in Mexico the peso is worth more so we can we can throw that in perspective too and you know we can talk about it a little bit uh, now there's different there's different um, perspective because people all over the world make different kinds of money there's different brackets there's the, the poor, the middle class, and the high class, all right? But on the previous video, I talked about my perspective, my situation, and there's a lot of people, especially immigrants, you know, that go to the U.S. from a different country, especially Mexicans and all kinds of people from Central America, etc. Even China, Vietnam, there's plenty of Asians over there so <clears throat> all I'm saying is you gotta you gotta look in co into consideration one thing all right uh, before well, wait 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 let's bring it back before before I start like the video please don't forget to like it um, and share it comment subscribe if you're a new new person welcome uh, shout out to everybody that's been asking questions, commenting. I appreciate every one of y'all, right? So this video goes for y'all. I'm trying to I'm trying to answer the comments, the questions, and everything. All right. So I talked about how I, I talked about how my family was immigrant that went to U.S. and all that. And um, there's a lot of people that 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 go to the U.S. like that. They're immigrants, right? Some people, they get lucky, they can do real good in the U.S., getting a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. But there's the people that are working paycheck to paycheck, you know. But when you convert that into pesos, either in Mexico or in the Philippines, in Mexico, it's double. Philippines is triple. The dollar value, all right? So... You gotta think, you gotta think. Now, people back a couple decades ago, they used to do this, guys. It, it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm just sitting here making shit up. Like, when I was growing up, my parents used to do this. They used to come to the U.S., they used to get that bread, and they used to go back home. So, why is stuff changing now? Like, you know, the year are changing, everything is changing. Why is everything changing? You go to the U.S., <clears throat> You know, you're working, you need a car, okay. Uh, first time buyer, all you need is 500,000 bucks. They're going to fuck you up with interest, all right. That, that, that is, um, that is what you call, in reality, the USA dream. You can have anything you want, but you don't realize how much interest they're giving you, how many years you're going to pay. You know, you're a new person, you're a new person to a foreign country. They're going to give you a new car that you never had in your country. You're going to take it. You're going to be like, oh shit, I'm working. I deserve this. Ah, let's go. And you're going to be like, yeah, I'm doing good. You're not doing good when you're buying a new car. You know, it took me a lot of years to realize that, you know. All my life growing up, I had a lot of new cars. What what happens when, when you get an accident? They don't even want to pay you. Like, all their money is lost. If you lose a car, all their money is lost. What are, what, what, what are you going to have if, if, let's say you crash, you're going to start all over, all over again. But that's, that's a different subject. What I'm saying... That's what I, I, that's what happened to me. I went to dealership, man, I needed a car. 
I was living paycheck to paycheck. I didn't have uh, money. So I remember at the time, my, my mom helped me out. She's like, yeah, I'll sign for you. Man, imagine walking out the dealership with a brand new whip, no money down, but you gotta pay for four, five, or six years a car just to finish. You're talking about 20, 25K with the interest, everything. Now, why am I bringing that up? Is that because a lot of people that go to U.S. or they're living in the U.S., that's how the U.S. works. You know, they're, 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 it's so easy. I, I guess that's why people call it the American dream because you can get a lot of stuff. You know, now the houses is more difficult. You have to be in a, on a different bracket. You have to make so much money and I know because my sister is my sister is a teacher she well both of my sisters they have they went to school and everything so they got houses so I know I, I have knowledge in that too so that is the advantage of being in America like you can you can you can drive a new car okay but what are you gonna do with the new car 90% 95% of the time you're in the car just going to work some people there are working two jobs to pay a car. That that used to be me, okay? I had spent thousands of dollars in cars that aren't that are not even here no more because I ended up I ended up getting an accident. And they hit me, okay? And at the end of the road, at the end of the road, I just lost everything. They give you this bullshit little check, whatever. Okay, so that's the first subject. That's that's you need to think about that living in a country like that that is just more you just have easier access to things, but it doesn't mean they're yours. Just because they give you a car, a car is a loan. It's not yours. People, you know, I, I see it a lot on social media. People want to post, "Oh, congratulations, you got a car." Blah blah blah. Congratulations for being in debt. You have to think, think, okay. And I, I, you know, when you're young, you don't think about stuff like this, you know. It's, it's, that's how life is, you know. I made a lot of mistakes like that. Um, but, you know, one thing that you have to take in consideration, take advantage Take advantage of your life in the U.S. If you're there making, if you can save money, get that money. All right. If 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 you're in a bracket where you're making, you're you're saving 20k a, a year. Let's just say, because that's hard. That's hard to do. Even if you're paycheck to paycheck, because whenever you're working in the U.S., you have a busier schedule. You're always at work. Same routine, especially if you're single. When I used to get home from Home Depot, my last job, I used to get off at 3.30. I had to walk home. I was home probably about 3.45. Imagine, 3.45. I still need to shower. I still need to cook for dinner. And then I have to cook for lunch the next day. I was in until like 6. And then if I, if I had to wash my clothes, my uniform, whatever, like... So, at that time, I told myself, you know, this is not the life that I want. This is not the life that I ever wanted. So, that's where things change. That's where things happen. And I was like, you know what? I have to. And and I met my wife and everything. And I was like, man, you know what? We're gonna. I'm gonna change lives. And I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna do what it takes and I'm gonna be successful there and I'm and I'm going to enjoy my life Enjoy my life That's the main thing enjoy your life every day every day not having to wake up Thinking you're gonna be late somewhere or you're gonna get in trouble or some kind of bullshit But the main the main thing here is that you know a lot of people a lot of people make a lot of money right and this is this is the this is the society 
This is the culture of America. You make money, you want to have a car just to show off, blah, 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 even though you're paying it. You know, spending so much money on cars, you're young. Just an example. You want to work, 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 work. You know, whenever you need to think outside the box, you need to, you need to, you need to think ahead. Instead of being a dummy of society, of any society, I'm not, I'm not bashing anything. I'm just saying, uh, of, of governments, you know, because that's how governments for certain countries work. But in general, you know, uh, instead of thinking outside the box, we're like, man, you know, I'm making good money, okay? I'm young. Let's say I'm young. I'm making 100K a year. I got family in Mexico. With 100K, let's say I work a couple years, you know. I worked four years before I came to the Philippines. So, let's just say, let's just say I'm going to work four years. I'm not gonna say that's 4k because you're gonna spend you're gonna spend probably 10k let's say rent whatever let's just say three wherever you go you go to Mexico you're gonna have a badass house you know maybe you can buy a beach house not only that not only that you can you can have a little business and you can retire for the rest of your life like all you have to worry about is paying bills so Tell me why you want to be in a place like America, switching cars every year, switching cell phones every year, and just paying and paying to have new materialistic things to be slaving yourself for years to your 65, so you can get a miserable check. Maybe you're gonna, maybe you're gonna live three or four more years, 75 if you're lucky. Let's say 10 years. All that money, they all the money, all the money the government uh, took from you, and you're hoping to retire so they can give you a retirement check, or or what are they gonna give you? They're not gonna give you you all your life. You give them so much. All right. So. You know, like I said, there's different situations, different things to this. But, you know, if I make it, if I was to make it in the U.S. where I'm making that much money. And either I can buy a house for 30 years. Or I can go to my hometown, buy a house, nice house for 20K, let's say. I can buy a, a small car. Let's just say five thousand because it's double over there. You could probably buy a new car, a simple car, Sentra, Nissan Sentra, and live happy. Simple. I don't have to. I don't have to ride a big ass truck just to show off or want to be uh, feeling like I'm like I'm worth more, which that's part of the U.S. culture. You know, just just think about it. You know, and I, I and a lot of people, whenever they go to U.S., when they're foreign people, they want to go to U.S. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go make a lot of money. <sighs> it's the same thing, guys. It's the same thing. Everywhere you go, you make more money. You have more. The thing is, you have easier access to spend it there. So the more you make, the more you spend. All right. So. Uh, I think I'm gonna let it go right now. It's already at 14 minutes. This is part two. I'm gonna break it down in part three. All right guys, so Ta-da, let's go hit that like